you're watching BTV. With a worldwide copper production deficit predicted for as early as 2025, Smart Money is starting to pour into copper development projects located in great jurisdictions. This significant shift is helping to push Osisco Metals into the limelight as it looks to resurrect the Gaspé Copper Project located in the mining-friendly province of Quebec. If we hope to meet uh, copper demand to meet 2050 uh, decarbonation objectives such as uh, those included in the Paris Accord, we essentially have to double copper production uh, between now and then. And right now we're nowhere near being able to do that. And you can't believe in decarbonizing our planet uh, without believing in copper. It's, it's as simple as that. Osisco Metals believes in the relevance of copper and feels it's in a great position to help satisfy a growing need for this resource. Gaspé Copper is the only uh, significant undeveloped copper uh, resource uh, in eastern Canada and eastern North America. The mine was in production from 1955 till 1999. Back then, copper was less than a dollar a pound, and the, the operations became uneconomic. Today, we're, we're shooting for $4 copper. We were there last year. Longer term, we're extremely bullish on copper, and uh, we believe within the next year or so, copper should go back to $4 a pound, U.S. or better. We could easily see $5 copper going forward, so that's going to be a tremendous boost to uh, this project and other copper projects being developed uh, in North America. A continued rise in the price of copper should help ensure the economic feasibility of the project, as well as its status as a past producing mine. Infrastructure is in place, including road, uh, access to rail and deep water port an hour away from, uh, from the town, uh, from the mine site and the adjacent town of Murdochville. And right now we have a preliminary resource estimate of about 455 million tons, uh, about 0.3% copper with molly and silver credits. And we believe that this uh, can be turned into uh, a profitable and economic operation. And next year, in 2024, we're actually going to go back and do some exploration drilling on the property. We believe there's still potential for uh, high-grade copper zones uh, underground. Given its growing to-do list, Osisco anticipates a busy year ahead. We're uh, still defining uh, the resource to upgrade it to measure it indicated. Uh, we're drilling as we speak. That should be done by uh, next spring. Uh, and this fall, we're launching a PEA and based on a positive PEA, we'll be launching a feasibility study probably by Q2 uh, next year. For all those who aren't already on the copper bandwagon, Bob Wears has this sage advice. Invest in copper, it's the future. One person who believes in copper and the CEO's leadership abilities is this senior mining analyst. Bob Wears as the CEO is uh, well recognized uh, in the industry and has had a lot of success. And so I think you need to put your faith in uh, Bob's abilities to deliver. It's a long process, but I think he understands that. He's patient and has made some good progress. The Quebec government has shown strong support for the Gas Bay Copper Project, which it hopes will rejuvenate economic prospects in the region through the creation of seven to 800 jobs.